So it's uh, CM5 the night before launch, and uh, I've been doing tons of testing with all kinds of different coolers, configurations, clustering them, everything. And uh, I think the main takeaway I've found, well, hold on, let me turn this on. There's a bug in the CM5 I.O. board where when you shut it down, it actually hits the fan to full blast. So if I boot it up, the fan can actually stop running. But I've been testing uh, a few different cooling options. One is the Raspberry Pi cooler. This is a new product for the CM5. It comes with these little screws. It comes with uh, some pads that are pre-installed. So you just stick this on the Pi and put all the screws and spacers in. The way that you use this is, in my opinion, a little annoying if you're kind of prototyping. Uh, if you're prototyping, you might just want to stick this on top and not screw it down as long as you're not bumping around the Pi. Uh, because this goes through everything and there's a spacer under the board and the screw goes through the bottom of the board and all that. That can be a little bit annoying and doesn't work with every carrier. Uh, what I found is easier though is uh, I bought these CM4 heat sinks and they're a little bit shorter. They don't have as much thermal mass and they only have a pad for the SOC and the power management chip. But they come with these uh, these little standoffs and just a screw that goes through that's flat. That's what I actually have on here and that fits atop these boards. So that way I don't have to, you know, do all the rigmarole of putting all these things in. Uh, but this video is just quickly talking about the cooling options. And this one, like I said, was a CM4 heatsink I've been using. And this was adequate to keep a CM4 from throttling under heavy load in, um, in a place like this. It's like 71 degrees Fahrenheit, whatever that is in Celsius. Uh, but I noticed that Raspberry Pi added a lot more mass to their CM5 cooler. So it, judging by the results, which I'll get to soon, uh, this is necessary. Because this one just doesn't have the mass to get the heat off of the Pi that well in open air. Uh, but this will do fine for most things. Uh, but Edatech actually sells the CM5 active cooler. They're, they're launching this, I think, today. Uh, but it is a uh, active cooler with a fan, and the fan is about the same loudness as the fan on the Pi active cooler. It might even be the same fan. I haven't looked at the model. Uh, but it just plugs into the little four-pin fan header, and it has uh, slightly larger fins as well. And uh, it, it comes with pretty much the exact same setup, the same screws and spacers and things. So I don't know if they worked with Raspberry Pi on that or what, uh, but I tested all of these three options, and I found something interesting. You got to do something. If you don't have any cooling at all, if you're running a bare CM5, it'll start throttling after you know 10 or 20 seconds, and it hard throttles too. Once once it gets above 80 and starts hitting 85, it'll really throttle down and really slow things down. It'll still be faster than a CM4, but if you can get the performance by just throwing a heatsink on it, do that, uh, because you'll get a lot more time before it starts throttling if you're stressing it. With the active cooler, it never throttled at all. With the uh, the CM5 heatsink that's larger, you can see it has a longer slope. Um, that's because there's more there's more metal on here to take heat off and, and radiate it with these little fins. You could probably get a heatsink that has even more thermal mass or copper or something that gets it off a little quicker and better and keeps it under here in ambient temperature. But otherwise, you know, it'll throttle if you're stressing the pie for a very long period of time. Uh, but anyway, that's it. this is a very simple video, just quickly showing you these three cooling options. And the main takeaway is you need something for the CM5. Uh, the CM4 was able to kind of keep its, its uh, thermals under control a little bit better if you had inadequate cooling. But the CM5, unless you have a fan blowing directly on it with a lot of airflow, you're going to need something on here, whether it's a little, little heat sink with a fan or a bigger heat sink or something. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, they, they pack a lot of performance into this tiny thing, and you got to keep it cool if you want to run it uh, full bore.